So the first question is asking us to state the type of lever shown below. Um, what we're looking for, there are, you should be aware that there are three classes or three orders of lever, and they are represented by the sequence in which the fulcrum, the load and the effort are placed. You may remember, or you may have a different way of remembering it, but the way it um, is often used is FLE123. Um, and what that represents is that the the letter F, for example, um, the fulcrum for a first class lever, that's the number one below it, is in the middle of the three. So um, that would look like load, then the fulcrum, then the effort. That's a first class lever. That's not what we've got here. So if we work to the next one, a second class lever, the L, the load is in the middle, and that's exactly what we've got. So what we can do is we can put this as a second order lever. And that's how we get that mark. Moving on to the second part of the question, we're asked to calculate the mechanical advantage of the lever and it provides some information. Now, the reason I've highlighted these slightly separately is that you can see that the load is 185 and the effort is 37 newtons. Um, the way that the question is laid out or written um, separates the two out, but I think it's important that you identify the two. We know that mechanical advantage, um, the calculation for it is load over effort, and that's why I've highlighted it in that way. One mark is provided for that alone, remembering that particular equation. The second mark is to do the calculation itself, um, transferring the 185 newtons over the 37 newtons, or divided by the 37 newtons, and this is a reminder that you all need a calculator in the exam. Um, and when you plug that in, you get five. Notice that there are no units with this. The two Newtons um, effectively cancel out. Mechanical advantage doesn't have any units.